grammar lesson non finite verb the gerund and participle what is a gerund a gerund is a non finite verb which functions like a noun in a sentence though it is formed by a verb all gerunds end in ing example smoking is a bad habit prakash hates traveling we are sorry for troubling you all these underlined words smoking traveling troubling are gerunds we see they end in ing and they are formed by a verb smoke smoke to smoke it's a verb smoking is the gerund to travel travel an action it's a verb and when you add ing it becomes traveling so traveling is a gerund trouble to trouble somebody to trouble is a verb you add ing the word is troubling so troubling is a gerund all gerunds end in ing let's understand how it functions like a noun though it is formed by a verb generally the function of a noun when you ask the question what and you get the answer then that is the function of a noun look at this sentence smoking is a bad habit so you ask the question what is a bad habit you get the answer smoking therefore smoking is a gerund which functions like a noun prakash hates traveling prakash hates what you ask the question what and you get the answer traveling so therefore traveling which is a gerund it functions like a noun we are sorry for troubling you so troubling is a gerund it is ending in ing it functions like a noun we ask the question we are sorry for what for what troubling you so therefore troubling which is a gerund it functions like a noun so gerund is a non finite verb and it functions like a noun though it is formed by a verb and all gerunds end in ing let's understand the uses of gerund we know that all gerunds end in ing gerund functions like a noun in a sentence though it is formed from a verb uses of gerund gerund as subject look at the following examples reading improves knowledge seeing is believing reading and seeing are underlined and they are gerunds why is it a gerund because it functions like a noun you ask the question what what improves knowledge you're getting the answer reading now since reading comes before the verb therefore it is gerund as subject over here also seeing is believing what is believing seeing so therefore seeing is a gerund which functions like a subject it gerund as a subject it is coming before the verb is gerund as object look at the following examples my sister loves singing she tried blackmailing singing and blackmailing are underlined they are gerunds they end in ing we have to ask the question what my sister loves what you're getting the answer singing therefore it is a gerund she tried what blackmailing so blackmailing is a gerund now why it is gerund as object because it is coming after the verb loves after the verb tried over here it is coming before the verb therefore it gerund as a subject over here also it is coming before the verb is therefore it is gerund as subject but over here gerund as object it is coming after the verb loves over here also it comes after the verb tried so therefore singing and blackmailing is gerund gerund as object gerund as object of a preposition look at the following examples she is fond of singing the child was punished for stealing so over here singing is underlined stealing is underlined they are gerunds ending in ing we have to ask the question what she is fond of what so you get the answer singing 
over here the child was punished for what you're getting the answer stealing now this is gerund as object of a preposition because it is coming after the preposition of of is a preposition here for is a preposition so when the gerund comes after a preposition then that gerund is object of a preposition you are also singing is a gerund but it is coming as object of the preposition of the last use of the gerund gerund in compound nouns look at the following examples he brought a new walking stick for his dad it was a great turning point in his life the dog was tied to the fencing stick so walking stick turning point fencing stick they are all gerunds yeah the walking ing in this verb walk so walking stick is a compound noun so gerund is there in this compound noun you are also turning point it's a compound noun but there is a gerund turning ing is used you are also fencing stick it's a compound noun but fencing is a gerund ing is used in fence so fencing becomes the gerund so all these are compound nouns so gerund in compound nouns what is the participle the participle is also a non finite verb participles are words derived from verbs combining the function of an adjective and verb the participles are present participle past participle and perfect participle present participle by adding ing form to the verb the present participle is formed look at the following examples i heard someone knocking at the door i saw many men cutting trees in the wood we saw them resting under the tree so knocking cutting resting they are all present participles they are formed by adding ing to the verb functions of the present participle we know that the present participle is formed by adding ing to the root verb present participle functions as a verb and it functions like an adjective look at the following examples we see boys playing cricket we saw boys playing cricket she hears the sound coming from a distance she heard the sound coming from a distance now these are the participles playing and coming they do not change though the finite verb see has changed to the past it has become saw years in the present has become heard but playing and coming that's a participle it's a present participle it does not change therefore it is a non finite verb and it is formed by adding ing to the verb now in these examples they also show us that the action still continues so the present participle is used to form the continuous tense where the action is still going on we see boys playing cricket the boys are still playing cricket we saw boys playing cricket the action is still continuing it has not ended therefore this present participle functions as a verb it is used to form the continuous tense present participle also functions as an adjective look at the following examples the rushing boy knocked down the apple cart we could see only a single shining star in the sky we went out in the pouring rain so rushing shining pouring they are all present participle they end in ing we know that present participle also end in ing it is formed by adding ing to the root verb like the verb is rush you add ing it becomes rushing shine you add ing shining so that's a present participle pour it's a verb you add ing it becomes pouring so rushing shining and pouring they are all present participle now how does it function like an adjective over here the rushing boy it is describing the 
boy what kind of a boy rushing boy the rushing boy knocked down the apple cart we could see only a single shining what kind of a star the shining star over here we went out in the pouring rain what type of rain or what kind of rain pouring rain so all these words rushing shining pouring they are present participle and they function as an adjective as they are qualifying the nouns boy star and rain they tell us something more about the boy the star and the rain therefore they are present participles that functions as an adjective past participle a past participle is also a non finite verb it is formed by adding d ed or en to the base form of the verb however it is also formed in various other ways for irregular verbs example the spoiled child was disliked by everyone so spoiled is a past participle sometimes the last letter of the verb is doubled before adding ed for example plan then planned is a past participle rob robbed is a past participle hop hopped is a past participle then drop is the base verb and dropped is the past participle perfect participle examples of perfect participle having eaten her food she went to bed the rain having stopped we started our journey having finished his homework the boy went to bed having seen the film we all parted having lost his passport the tourist was in trouble all these underlined words having eaten having stopped having finished having seen having lost are perfect participle so you add having plus the past participle eaten is a past participle so when you add having and the past participle it becomes a perfect participle you are also having and the past participle stopped so having stopped becomes the perfect participle having finished having and the past participle so when you add having plus the past participle it becomes a perfect participle similarly here uh, having seen seen is a past participle so having and the past participle makes it a perfect participle having lost having and lost lost is a past participle so having and the past participle makes it a perfect participle so these are all examples of perfect participle having eaten having stopped having finished having seen having lost let's understand the difference between the gerund and the participle gerunds also end in ing and the present participle also end in ing so let's understand the difference between the two gerund participle look at the following examples we taught them dancing writing is fun swimming is the best exercise for children lata's favorite hobby is dancing in the column for participles the dancing peacocks were a beautiful sight bring your writing material when you come they spend a lot of time in the swimming pool the girl was dancing gracefully now we know that gerunds end in ing and gerund functions like a noun we ask the question what we taught them what so you get the answer dancing over here the dancing peacocks were a beautiful sight this dancing is a present participle it functions as an adjective it acts as an adjective what kind of peacocks if you remember the function of the present participle as an adjective when it qualifies the noun so here it is qualifying the noun peacock the second example writing is fun now here this word writing is a gerund ask the question what what is fun you're getting the answer writing so therefore writing is a gerund functioning like a noun bring your writing material when you come here this writing is a participle it functions present participle functions as an adjective what kind of material writing material so therefore present participle acts as an adjective the next example swimming is a best exercise here the swimming is a gerund why is it a gerund we ask the question what is the best exercise you're getting the answer swimming so here swimming is a gerund it functions like a noun 
they spend a lot of time in the swimming pool what kind of a pool swimming the swimming pool so therefore swimming here is a present participle it acts as an adjective lata's favorite hobby is dancing lata's favorite hobby ask the question is what you're getting the answer dancing so when you ask the question what it is a gerund it functions like a noun though it is ending in ing the girl was dancing gracefully here this dancing participle it functions like a verb telling us that the girl was dancing gracefully that means the action is still going on let's do the following exercise identify whether the underlined words are infinitives participles or gerunds we know what are infinitives when two is added to the root verb it becomes an infinitive example to go to do to jump participles end in ing they function like an adjective or they function like a verb gerunds also end in ing but they function like a noun we have to ask the question what look at the examples he likes cooking so here you ask the question he likes what you're getting the answer cooking therefore cooking is a gerund the teacher punished anil for shouting the teacher punished anil for what here also this shouting is a gerund it is gerund as object of the preposition for it is coming after this preposition for we notice many boys swimming in the pool the swimming is a participle telling us that it functions like a verb we notice many boys doing what they were swimming so this is present participle functioning like a verb in the continuous tense the red rose began to wilt to wilt it is an infinitive we know that when to is added to the root verb it becomes an infinitive i developed the habit of reading i developed the habit of what reading so reading here is a gerund it functions like a noun it is a gerund object of the preposition it is coming after this preposition he was caught for forging his friend's signature this also forging is a gerund it is coming after the preposition for object of the preposition he was caught for what forging i will show you the right way to study so to study is a infinitive to add it to the root verb to study is a infinitive we heard the dogs barking loudly outside the house so here barking is a participle we heard the dogs barking the dogs were barking outside the house so barking is a present participle functioning like a verb